What's up, Waco? Thanks for joining us. Today is Friday, January the 26th. My name is Karsten and alongside Bryson. What's going on in Waco, Bryson? Students, prom will be here before you know it. Juniors and seniors may begin pickup applications on January 29th from Ms. Holtep in the Media Center. The fee is $50 per person. If you have any school debt, you will not be able to get an application until your debt is clear with Ms. Holtep. The deadline for completed applications and payment is March 14th. If you have any further questions, see Ms. Severance, Ms. Holtap, or Ms. Kilgore. As many of you have, not, have heard, Addie Vickers, a junior, was diagnosed with lupus last week. We are, we are her school family and want to show her our support. Purple ribbons will be available beginning Monday at lunch for a donation. No amount is too little. Please see a Waco cheerleader or Ms. Poole. Thank you all for supporting her. That's awesome. Speaking of lupus, not many people know what this is. Here's a special clip to tell our viewers about this disease. Lupus is hard to describe. How would I describe lupus? A internal war with your own body. Do you feel like you have been hit by a Mack truck? Lupus feels like someone smacked you in the face. You know, they're like, you don't look like you have lupus. People don't realize that it's painful, um, physically and mentally. Lupus is like the bully at school that you always try to avoid, but it always finds you, beats you up, and takes something away. Your friends, your energy, or even your ability to do simple things. It's unpredictable and hard for others to see. It's like waking up every morning to your own personal game of the lupus lottery. You now have chronic pain, extreme fatigue, and kidney failure. It's hard to understand. Lupus is hard to wrap your head around. The simplest way I can describe it is the never ending flu. Lupus is a chronic autoimmune condition where your immune system starts to attack self. In lupus, that attack can be on any organ system in the body, which makes it difficult to diagnose. It's a chronic disease. There is no cure. It tends to target women between the ages of 15 and 45, and women of color are four times more likely to develop lupus. It's hard to live with. Imagine driving a car, but your tail lights are out, your tires are going flat, your parking brake is engaged, you're leaking fuel, but yet you still have to figure out how to merge onto this interstate at a high speed. You have to still do it. That's what living with lupus is like. It's hard to treat. Lupus feels like you are in a boxing match and you are blindfolded with your hands tied behind your back and you're supposed to fight. How can you fight? It's difficult to diagnose because every patient can look a little differently. There is no cure for lupus, but there are medications out there that can help treat the disease. Lupus is hard, but you're not alone. I get answers. Please email Ms. Matt Day if you need paperwork for your license. Please specify if it's for your learners or drivers. Also remember these forms are only good for 30 days. Bryson, you, you got any sports info for us today? Yeah, man, here's the sports info for the upcoming week. Tonight we have a varsity basketball game against Butler at 7 p.m. at the House of Pain. Saturday, January 29th, there is a JV boys and varsity basketball versus Hancock. JV starts at 4.30 and varsity starts at 7.30. We also have our competition dance team competing at Mill Creek High School at 9 a.m. Good luck. Preseason workouts for track have begun at 3.45 through 5 p.m. Conditioning will be held Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday for three weeks. All participants must have a current physical on file. Evaluations, tryouts will be held on February 6th. Check your email for more information. Soccer is gearing up for spring. Let's see what happens. Yo, what's up, Echo? I'm here with Coach Heat. And I'm gonna ask you a few questions about y'all's soccer season. So, Going into this season, how, how do you plan like on picking your players? Well, we've been doing a lot of, um, let me say, tryouts, uh, and it's looking real good. You know, we have some uh, players out there who have been putting in the work. Um, so we're going to find out, you know, what they're made of in a couple of days and 
you know, we're going to start to, like today, we're going to be doing some, some scrimmage with the girls to try to see, you know, who and who can play what, you know, and things like that. So by the, by the end of today, we'll be looking at, you know, what our players are going to look like, what the formation is going to look like, and, you know, going into the season. So I'm positive about the season. It's going to be a good season. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm hoping we'll go far with the kind of players that we got right now. And I'm talking for both the girls and the boys. So it's, gonna, it's looking really promising right now. So what's our strategy um, in the game, like, in this season? What's our strategy to win? Yeah, put in work. You know, be at training every day, you know. Like they say, when you put in work, mm -hmm. you're going to, you definitely, is going to come out real good, you know. You can't, whatever you put in is what you're going to put out, you know. So you got to put in work, and that's what we plan to do every day during this uh, period. We're going to be out there, you know, making some adjustment, trying to work on passes, tackles, you know, defense, even goalkeeping. So we're going to try to make sure that everybody is in a, is in a situation where we can win. You know, it's a teamwork. When we come together as a team, then we can win. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so that's what we plan to do. This, just work as a team and get out there and do our best, give our best. Mm -hmm. Thank you for letting me interview you. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Let's talk to Katie Smith, our Skills USA region winner for t-shirt design. Hi, my name is Amiri. I'm here with Katie Smith. So I heard you won region for t-shirt design. How did you come up with your design? Uh, I tried to incorporate, uh, it's for Skills USA, so I researched on the website what the main things of Skills USA were, things like uh, working with carpentry, working with mechanics, like in the shop we have here, uh, everything like that, and I tried to incorporate things that were from Skills USA and things that were big in Georgia into my shirt. I also, uh, the whole color palette of the shirt is the colors of the Skills USA logo, so I tried to incorporate things that were important to Georgia and Skills USA in my shirt. Okay, and what's your next step in region? Uh, state. We have state in Atlanta, February 22nd through 24th, and I'm hoping to be heading up there and representing our school. Okay, thank you, Katie. That's all we have for this week. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good weekend.